Hey crypto friends, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today I'm going to be sharing a bunch of large cap altcoins that literally that just about everyone should have in their portfolio, even if it's just a little bit, all right? Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, if you are interested in trading and would like to try out the same crypto exchange that I use on a regular basis, feel free to go ahead and check out the MEXC crypto exchange with the link in the video description down below. I personally love this exchange because one, as you guys can clearly see, they've got some of the lowest fees, the lowest trading fees in pretty much the entire industry, all right? In addition to that, I'm a huge altcoin nerd and I love being able to buy and sell all kinds of different uh, various altcoins that get released. And Mexi has over 1,500 different altcoins and they're continually adding new ones on a regular basis. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I personally love using Mexi myself. So guys, here's the thing, all right? When we are talking about large cap altcoins, we're basically talking about the battle tested altcoins that have grown immensely throughout the years and continue to gain popularity on literally a regular basis. And they also have a large market cap, obviously. So now here's the thing with large cap altcoins, literally every, every single person on this planet is going to have a different definition for what they are and how large of a market cap they actually have. But for me personally, I tend to think that any any altcoin within the top 100 on coin market cap or coin gecko are pretty much considered large cap altcoins, all right? I mean that's I mean that's pretty much a, a good safe way to look at it to be brutally honest with you. These are the cryptocurrencies, these are the altcoins that have been trusted, battle tested and have been through all kinds of different stuff to be able to say that, you know, hey, these are trusted altcoins for sure. Re, uh, you know, <laughs> regardless of anything. So with that said, you guys, the very first, the very first large cap that everybody should have in their portfolio, um, even if it's just a small amount, would definitely have to be Ethereum. Okay. Now here's the thing. I personally do not like Ethereum. All right. I mean, me really, realistically, I don't like Ethereum. Um, not because I'm like a hater of it or anything. I mean, they're great at what they do. Um, the chain is great at what it does. And, um, you know, hey, it's <laughs> it's been battle tested. So um, there's definitely nothing you know, terribly wrong about Ethereum or anything. There's literally just one big reason why I personally don't like Ethereum. And the reason why is simply because it's way too expensive for the average middle class person to be able to transact with Ethereum on a daily basis. But it is the most popular smart contract chain and probably always will be as well, to be brutally honest with you. And for this reason, it is inevitable that Ethereum will continue to make gains in future bull markets simply because of that, okay? So look at Ethereum this way, all right? Ethereum, the, this is the way I look at Ethereum. I look at Ethereum as a playground, an NFT playground for the wealthy, okay? Whereas, um, you know, chains like Solana, Solana is very, very cheap to transact. Therefore, I look at Solana as being pretty much a chain for the middle class to, because it's cheap enough for them to be able to transact on a regular basis. All right. So this actually brings me to my next large cap that I've got for you, which is obviously Solana. OK, everybody should have Solana. I mean, they really should. And I know there's a lot of negative stigma behind Solana because of the, you know, because of downtime and crashes in the past. But honestly, let's be honest here, all right? It's literally the most popular ecosystem for middle-class people to be able to afford, especially when it comes to NFTs, okay? In addition, Solana also has Fire Dancer now, or it will in the near future, okay? Or it's being implemented in, you know, blocks here and there, okay? Um, so Solana is going to have Fire Dancer, which will hopefully solve a lot of Solana's scalability issues and help gain more trust back into the ecosystem, which is honestly one of the biggest reasons why I am personally bullish on Solana and the entire Solana ecosystem for the long term here, okay? So the next large cap that I've got for you guys here is going to be Polygon, okay, which is arguably one of the most popular layer two blockchains that helps Ethereum with scalability. In addition, Polygon is also home to literally all kinds, I mean, literally all kinds of kick-ass Web3 and blockchain gaming projects as well as Metaverse projects also. So my point being here, Polygon is not going to be going anywhere, all right? It's not going to be going anywhere anytime soon, and it's definitely one of those large caps that is extremely easy to put your full trust into, all right? So following Polygon, we've got BNB, okay? Now here's the thing. 
Um, BNB, which is Binance's very own smart contract ecosystem that's extremely popular among both uh, the Asian and Middle Eastern regions of the globe, um, and for good reason too. I mean, CZ from Binance has gone literally to great lengths to make sure that BNB gets the respect it deserves, and some may call the ecosystem a scam, but realistically, BNB is extremely popular for all kinds of various altcoin projects out there. And to be brutally honest with you, again, just like the other ones, I don't see BNB, um, you know, <laughs> I don't see BNB falling or going anywhere uh, anytime soon whatsoever. So the next large cap that I've got for you guys here is going to be Cosmos, okay? Which honestly, to be brutally honest with you, Cosmos is honestly, in my opinion, one of the most underrated ecosystems in the crypto market. But it makes sense though. Cosmos isn't a hype type of project or anything like that. But they're definitely stacked with passionate developers that continue to build. And in addition to that, Cosmos is literally home to some truly spectacular altcoin projects as well. I personally love Cosmos because, you know, um, simply because of how underrated it is. And I firmly believe that it will continue to make large gains in future bull runs as well. All right. Now, the next one I've got for you guys here is going to be Stacks, okay, which recently gained a whole bunch of popularity and for good reason too, to be honest with you. The cool thing about Stacks here is that it literally aims it literally aims to bring smart contract functionality and decentralized applications to the Bitcoin network, all right, which would honestly be a pretty darn big deal in a good way. So for this reason alone, I personally think Stacks has a darn good chance at making some decent gains in the long term future. All right. Now, the next large cap that I've got for you guys here is going to be Render, okay? And if you're not familiar with Render, I highly suggest you do some uh, deep research on it because honestly, Render is one of those projects that allows users to contribute pretty much unused GPU power from their laptops and computers to help projects render uh, motion graphics and visual effects and stuff like that, which is honestly huge in itself because of how many projects out there that have a need for extra GPU power, which, you know, is why I personally believe that render will make some huge gains in the long term, because this is one of those things that can be used in, in you know, in literally our everyday lives. All right. So next after render, I have got the near protocol. All right. So with the near protocol, I mean, to be honest with you, it has been dubbed as a competitor to Ethereum since it is a layer one chain and has gained all kind of popularity um, ever since about like the 2020 era. In addition, you guys, near is much faster and much, much cheaper than Ethereum, kind of like Solana and hopes to be able to process up to, you know, 100,000 plus transactions per second at some point as well. So for this reason, it is safe to say that near is only going to improve for the long term and large, you know, large price gains may eventually come with it as well. All right. So the last large cap that I've got for you guys in this video is going to be Phantom, okay, which has been around since about 2018. But honestly, it didn't really start to get noticed or take off until around early 2021. But the thing is, is Phantom is another highly scalable layer one smart contract platform for decentralized applications. In addition, Phantom's EVM setup is extremely robust. Um, so you can literally do Ethereum related stuff on Phantom for dirt cheap. I mean, I'm talking dirt cheap and very, very fast as well, which is honestly one of the biggest reasons as to why I personally love it. So overall here, you guys, I just mentioned a heck of a lot of uh, large caps that have a huge, great future ahead of them. But there's also quite a few large caps that I did not mention as well, such as like Cardano, Algorand, and even Aptos, for instance, okay? And the reason why I didn't mention those kinds of coins is because although they're, you know, they are, although they're literally solid large caps, there's a few issues about each one of them that I personally do not like. I mean, you know, regardless on if other people like them or not, you know, hey, I'm just one person and everybody's got different opinions. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but, you know, hey, there's I personally think that there's a few issues about each one of them that I personally do not like. So I have to be transparent about that and honest about that. All right. So. Now, if any of you guys have any questions about anything, about any of these coins I mentioned in this video or anything like that, or anything related to altcoins or trading in general, or just anything related to anything crypto related, feel free to go ahead and reach out to me in my free community Discord server, which you can find a link to in the description below this video as well. 
But overall here, you guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. So I will go ahead and wrap this one up. But again, before you guys leave, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey guys, with that said, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you guys in the comment section down below of my future videos.